we've got here. Right, so who are you and what is your role at BTP? My name is Joan and I'm a police officer, um, operational police officer, um, based at Liverpool. Okay. With BTP, done it for a number of years. Quite enjoyous. I'm Kayleigh, or if you prefer, PC Watson. Uh, and I'm currently on the initiative team based in Manchester Piccadilly. Let's have a little look at you. Kaylee, why did you join the police? Oh, why did I join the police? Honestly, it goes back to being a child. You know, you're watching the bill. I know that sounds ridiculous, but you, you sat there as a kid and you're watching it. And it looks exciting. You know, you're in uniform, fast cars, and it just sort of stuck from then. And as I got older, obviously I learned a little bit more that it, it wasn't like a TV show. Uh, but I did still want to do that, and it's something that I worked to until I actually made it mm, I'm myself. I'm like you, I always wanted to join the police from yeah. being at school um, and it became a special to see what it was like and then I decided to take the plunge and join BTP and I joined BTP because it was a really friendly force at the time. It was just a job for me and I just stuck at it throughout my career. Oh, this is for me. Okay, so how do you feel looking back at a career with BTP? Well, I've been in, what, 32 years. I think it's been a great experience for me. And I don't think I would have had the opportunities that I've had in any other police force um, or in any other career, because I've been to quite a number of major incidents. Um, and I've been to other things that are, were very fun to do. So one of the, the, the fun things I did um, in the, uh, the Queen's Jubilee, oh. I went down to London and I was on one of the, the bridges um, on the Thames, as a procession of boats that I went through underneath. And I wouldn't have had that ex experience in any other job. So how long did you say it's been? 32 years? Yeah. That's, that's a fair bit of time. I know, but it goes by in a blink of an eye. I can imagine. You look back. Um, so I have dealt with the loss. I've seen an awful loss. But I leave with no regrets. Right. Right, so how has policing changed since you joined? How long we got? <laughs> <laughs> Start from the beginning. When I joined, um, the uniform was entirely different. So the police women... You had a handbag, didn't you? We had a handbag. We had a very small wooden truncheon, uh, which were called staffs. They weren't called truncheons. Um, but the women weren't allowed to wear trousers in the daytime. It was only at night time. Why? Why was that? I don't know. Probably old fashioned ideas. Like they probably thought women didn't get involved in things. Um, you, but just, we had, you just run at night then? But our uniforms were tuna corda, so right, okay. we didn't have anoraks or, or any of the kit that we have nowadays. We, the ladies got sent to the London Outfitters to have your uniforms measured up. So you've got a tailored uniform, the women, not the men, but the women did. Um, so we were very, very smart. Um, the stuff that we have today, the stab jackets, taser. Yeah. The CS sprays, uh, the mandible patterns, all that, all that has changed, and it's been gradually introduced over the years. How did the uniform compare to the men's uniform when you first joined? Because you said you had a handbag and, yeah. and a small wooden uh, truncheon. What did they have in comparison? Um, well, the fellas had a, um, a staff, a truncheon. Theirs was um, longer. Typical. <laughs> <laughs> did you ever throw it at anyone? Throw the handbag at anyone? No. Uh, Never took it out. Move on. This is for either of us, really. What would you say would be your private, um, proudest achievement? In policing? Oh, well, that's, I've only been in just over two years now, and a good five months of that was spent training. Um, so, I think so far it would probably be when I received my commendation. I'd say that, that was a very proud moment. It's nice to be recognised for the things that you do. Mm -hmm. um, so I did, that would be quite a proud moment for me. What about yourself? I would say joining the job. Joining? Yeah, because I always wanted to be a Bobby. <clears throat> so getting into the job. Quite difficult to get in it when was a, you first joined. The BTP was the hardest police force in the country to get into. Oh. So yeah, yeah that when is I joined. an achievement yeah. then, isn't it? <clears throat> so, I was chuffed to bits when I got in. But then there's been other things. I mean, I've had a series of accommodations and things. But I suppose if I look back, getting into the job. For both of us, this one. 
Oh, what do you think is the best bit about the job? Ooh, tough question that. Um, I think it's when you, for me, it's when you achieve something, when you've, you've got somebody who's at pretty much one of the lowest points um, because they've either been a victim of crime or they're suffering from a particular down period in their life and you step in and you help. Mm. Uh, so you either resolve the crime, you know, make them feel feel better, they get back what it is that they've either lost or the help that they've needed or, for example, if it is those who are suffering with mental health, you get them the help that they need and you see that change in them after a little bit of time once mm. they've received the help they need. I would say that's probably one of the better parts about the job, actually yeah. seeing something through from the beginning to the end and making a difference. Totally agree, because I would say exactly the same. Yeah. For me, it's not it's not so much about arresting people. It's about helping people. Exactly, yeah. Because you can arrest people all day long, but the difference is made with the victims. Yeah. Or, or even that, um, the person coming up to speak to you on the station, feeling reassured. Yeah. And you're just doing that little thing for them that make, makes a difference. It's putting a smile on the face, yeah. so to speak. Yeah. I would agree with that, yeah. definitely. For One for me. How do you feel to have passed your probation? Relieved. Very relieved. I'm proud, but I'd say relief is the is the biggest part. Because for those those first two years you feel like you've got a lot on your shoulders. you it can it can feel a little pressured sometimes. So I think finishing that, it's sort of like a sense of of relief. It's out of the way. It's out of the way, it's yeah. gone and then all you have to focus on then. Is, is your job, your day-to-day -day job, uh, and you know you've done it. Another question. What would you say is your highlight so far? I've had quite a few funny moments, I think, in this job. My highlight is probably the, just the team I work with. Like, they're, they're the reason I enjoy coming to work. Uh, they, we, you get on, you create bonds with them that like you don't with it, I would say in, in other jobs, uh, you spend a lot of your time with these people, probably more so than you do with your family, the hours that we work. Uh, you, these are the guys that have your back um, and you trust each other no matter what. Totally agree, because I, I do think that um, who you work with can make or break this job. And I think this type of work, you need that. Oh, you definitely. need the friendships within the organisation. And generally, that's what you get because we're all in the same boat. You understand each other, yeah. what each other are going through, um, more so probably than your friends outside yeah. of the job, because they will be there and they do understand, but they don't fully get it. The police so. and family is totally unique. It really is. And, and those friends that you make within the police force, they'll be there forever, because they, they're the only ones that really, you're right to understand yeah. exactly what you see out there. It is it quite is. unique. What have we got here? Oh. What are you looking forward to about your policing future? Oh, what am I looking forward to? Okay, well, I've got a lot of, t I've got a lot of time left, thirty-eight years to be precise. Not much. <laughs> so not much time. No. Um, I think it's the opportunities that are available to me. Uh, for me, I'm looking forward to going down the route of, say, firearms, or OSU, that type of thing. Um, but then, if I ever choose to go elsewhere, there's the CID. There's a. Uh, all the types of proactive teams, response. So it's, I think it's the options that are available to me. Um, I'm not going to be tied to one one thing for the for the foreseeable. I do think in this job you do have options, don't you? And I yes, think, definitely. you know, if you're looking at 38 years, which you're looking at, you've got to shift around a little bit. Oh, you keep fresh. Otherwise yeah. you get a bit you're stuck in a rut, don't you? And I don't want that to happen. So I think that's why, that's why I quite enjoy what mm. I'm doing, because I know that there's possibilities. And it's always going to be different. And it's always going to be different, yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, you're going to be busy. Are there any worries looking ahead? I wouldn't say worries as such. Um, you know, you never know what's going to happen. I think the, the main concern is, but you don't want to be holding on to it every day, otherwise you'd, you'd never step outside your door, like what, what could happen? Mm. I think that's probably the main worry. Are you, is, are you going to be coming home in the same manner that you, you left that morning? Um, are your friends going to be returning? 
in the blink of an eye things can change. Mm. One minute you could be talking to somebody, the next minute, oh, hell is breaking loose. So I'd say that's probably the, the, the biggest worry. Like You never know what the day's going to bring or what's going to happen. I know. It's, it's just one of those things, isn't it? I mean, I, I've always been all right throughout my career, you know, yeah. you, but it's funny how your professionalism will carry you through. Yes. So while these things might be in the back of your mind, you come into, onto duty, go and deal with things, and then all the training kicks in. Yeah. So when you, you just switch and it you just switch. happens naturally, I yeah. find, as you well. Yeah, you just switch. Yeah. For you, mm -hmm. we go. Okay, so will you miss BTP? I will miss um, the friendships, which will continue into retirement. But I will miss um, the banter, the fun, the laughs, and as you said in a previous question that you had, it's that you unique bond of people. So even though you leave the police force, when you've been in the police force as long as I have, it's a big part of you. Yeah. Um, and those same people are still the same people that understand what you've you've lived through for a large part of your life. Yeah. Do you think you'll find it quite difficult to sort of switch off? Yes. Because you've been doing it every day for so many years. Yeah, I do. Um, because when you're a police officer, and what you're you know you're you're learning now is that your mindset is different. Yeah. And it just doesn't leave you when you sort of take a uniform off at night and you, you know you go home i think it will take quite a number of years Before to shake it off right. so what would your advice be to someone like me Ooh. i think you've got um, a great future ahead of you in the btp i think um there's more opportunities now in the btp than ever there were in my time. Back in the day, we didn't have much by way of opportunities in the BTP. But now, we've got a lot of opportunities and a lot of opportunities going forward because it's a whole different ball game now. I would say, you know, you've got uh, opportunities and ideas of where you want to go in the police force. Do it and keep moving. Yeah. So the firearms, do the firearms. And when that starts getting a bit stale because you've done it, find something else because it will keep you alive and it will keep your passion for the job alive. Don't let the grass grow under your feet. I don't think there's any chance. <laughs> Not really in this job, is there? I know. <laughs> Last one. Are there any questions either of us would like to ask? Are you glad you're doing the BTP? Yes. Everybody seems to ask this, ask this question like, um, why don't you jo join Home Office? Uh, are you going to go Home Office like it's something that you're supposed to do? Um, to be fair, when I was leaving my previous job, uh, a couple of forces were taken on, um, so I had a choice. Uh, BTP was the choice I went with, and I'm actually really quite glad that I did that. Quite happy and content with being in BTP. Good. Should we do it again? <laughs>